Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is just a part B of this, or part two of this. I said in the last video, and I just wanted to kind of prove the point, nesting is gonna save you wood, and if you're cutting, it's gonna save you wood and time. It's gonna save you a lot of wood, but if you're engraving and cutting, it's not gonna save you any time. Now, I just, I didn't do a very good job, but. Uh, I could have maybe got a few more on the page, but I got all these on here and I grouped them together so they're all identical. When your laser engraves this, it's going to engrave that line, and then it's going to scoot, scoot up and engrave that line. Four or five passes, move up. So it's going to just, there's a lot of disk space, but the laser is going to move. If you nest this, so let's select all these, and let's go to the nest and put apply, I've saved that much wood. I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna hit P, put them in the center of the page. Surely I've saved wood. I'm not 100% sure it's gonna save time. And now that I kind of look at it, it's gonna be close, so it'd be your call. Because it's gonna have to engrave, so what it did, it turned some of them over, but they're still correct. There's still the peak part of the star is up there. Now, it's going to have to engrave. Well, you know, it's going to be a toss-up because there's no there's no dead spot for the laser to move up to, but it doesn't have to engrave this area either. I'm actually going to do go to the shop in the morning and run a time test on this and just see what the, my laser says. So stay tuned for that. But that's just a word of warning. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for